Paul, you know, we, we just looked at these gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, but I always remember, or I was told in school, you know, there's four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So what happened to Uranus and Neptune? Okay, well, you have to bear in mind, Uranus and Neptune, as you can see here, are a lot smaller than Jupiter and Saturn. They are, they are. They're a whole different class. They're much less massive. Okay. Even combined, they don't add up to Saturn's mass. All right. And if you look at them, Uranus is pretty boring. Yeah, look, it kind of is. I don't like it live. Well, nice shade of blue, but... That's about it. Yep. Um, and you look at it as a crescent from behind. If you've got a spacecraft in the correct positions, um, they do have clouds and weather bands that they're a bit hard to see. But if you look at the right wavelength, the right sort of filters, you can pick these things and see how they move around. Okay. So at the surface level, they do actually kind of look similar to Jupiter and Saturn. And they have a ring system as well, like Saturn. Yeah, but they're much smaller. Yep. And if you actually look at the density of these things and try and work out what composition would give them the right size and the right density, it turns out that they're actually mostly not high and helium. Okay, so they're actually, so even though they are kind of gassy, they're not They're gassy at the surface level, so what okay. you see in the surface is gas, but it probably doesn't go that deep. Unlike Jupiter and Saturn, which, which pretty are, much make up most of the planet. You know, most or all is, yep. is gas, and maybe they have a little solid core right down the middle, but 90% you know, of them is hydrogen and helium. Yep. But for um, Uranus and Neptune, we think they're mostly, we call them ice giants. Okay. Now this ice is like ammonia and methane and water ice. So I mean when we say ice are we talking about hey I can go put some in my drink because it's a hot day type of ice? You probably don't want ammonia and methane well, in well, your okay. drink. But, <laughs> that's uh, true. But, but yeah, anything that's made of H2O and ammonia and methane we call ice but in fact it's far too hot for it to be frozen even under these pressures. It's okay. probably some sort of hot briny f fluidy okay. mixture of the stuff. But it's not hydrogen helium, it's not a gas. Okay. It's so probably more like, a, we should call them water giants, probably rather than ice giants. But, but also they're also not water because it's not necessarily the way liquid we think. Yes, that would be pretty toxic to drink and yes. so on. So in principle, again, you could also go through a submarine, and, um, but it's, it's made of different stuff. It's different yep. elements. For, okay. um, so that's why we don't normally nowadays, we we'll normally call them the ice giants, because astronomers, anything made of H2O and methane is called ice, even if it's far too hot to be ice. Yeah, we're stupid, I know. So, so these were two, and, and they're quite different in size. Yep. So you see, uh, they're not at all the same size of thing as Jupiter and Saturn. No, they're, 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 they're dramatically smaller. Yes. So they're, they're quite a bit smaller. The clouds don't work quite the same. They're made of different stuff. So they are their own subclass of planet. Yeah. So really the modern classification would be gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. Okay. And then we get into the small rocky stuff. The small rocky stuff that really doesn't matter, as you told us earlier. Which is totally relevant, yes, apart from that we live on one of them. 